So what, what are your can't live without beauty products? Like what are the things, um, I mean, we did mention the skincare. Yes. I actually have some here. Ooh. Um, I have a bunch of stuff off camera. So basically anything from Anne-Marie, this one I'm really stuck on right now. It's a probiotic serum and it's got a bunch of mushrooms in it, I think. Um, it kind of <laughs> makes your skin a little like tan when you put it on. It just, it feels so, so, so nice. And then I've been using this mist of theirs as well. It's like yeah, a Marie. toning, hydrating mist. A hydrating mist. And what do you um, feel like it does for you? It just makes the skin feel more hydrated and yeah, like do you spray it as the day goes on? Yeah. If you start feeling parched or dry, I just like spritz through, love it. Um, and then also one more thing from them is their exfoliant. This is like, to me, it feels like a very like aggressive grainy exfoliant. I can see I think, you use it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's all yeah. crinkled yeah. up. <laughs> it's, not in the shape. it's called Kaolin Micro Exfoliant. It's I'm obsessed with it. It's so 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 good. Um, hair care. I 100% am stuck on Olaplex. So I have Aww. a few of my favorite things. Oh my gosh, my hair like a, two maybe two years ago, my hair got bleached twice long story short it got bleached twice in one week and the second time it was quite aggressively bleached and it just started breaking off and I'd never experienced anything like that and I was just at a complete loss and I started googling like what's the best thing and everyone has so many different opinions but mm -hmm. a lot of articles kept popping up with Olaplex and then I reached out and um you guys were just like beyond helpful you're like absolutely this will work for you um and have helped me out ever since um, the number three, the, the mask yes. obsessed, obsessed. I, I was sleeping in it at first after the, the mask of damage, I was sleeping in it for a while. And then it became five days a week. And now I do like twice a week and it's, it's honestly saved my hair. It's I've so scary when we sometimes that. have those, those times where the, the oops happens. I mean, it ha can happen to anybody. I mean, I yeah. know it's happened to me and you know, I'm, I'm a hairdresser and it's happened to me. It sometimes oh. happens, but when, when you are desperately looking for something to resolve it, <laughs> I'll do anything just to cut off all my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's amazing how much hair is like your identity. It's such mm. a huge part of you. It's Start changing the color even you feel like a completely different person so then breaking it off or different styles or lengths like wow it was do you change your look emotional. a lot with your hair or not really no um no I kind of like landed with blonde I did after after it broke off I dyed it super dark and then I didn't feel like that fit my personality so slowly tried to lighten it by using like some sulfur treatment to pull color out rather than bleaching it because I didn't want to lose more hair and I was so scared. Um, but now, like now I feel like I'm back to, back to health. Um, yeah, it was and, and I know that you are now in Georgia, so you had to kind of yes. reassess everything going from New York and the hairstyles there and then yes. finding what you needed here. That's always hard. Oh my gosh. It's, yeah, it's scary, you know, like people might think that's a small thing, but it's really not. You're putting so much of yourself into a stranger's hands. Like it's okay to do your research and to want to ask questions and to feel confident before you go in. I was, yeah, I was nervous. I'm always nervous trying someone new. Dustin always does my hair. And so, you know, we both work for Olaplex. So he's often very busy. And there are times where I'm just like, Honey, if you need me to, I'll go find another hairdresser just so I can get my retouch up. But I'm really scared because I mean, you know, he knows my hair, you know. And yeah, you know, when we find that hairdresser that's just right oh, for you, gosh. gosh, when you move, it's scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huge deal. Huge deal. Luckily, I found a guy who I think is awesome and he's all about Olaplex and all about the hair constitution and the health. So I'm feeling in good hands. Um, well, your hair looks gorgeous. So he's obviously you. doing a great job. Um, so if you could leave like a beauty advice to our listeners, something that they could do like immediately, because I mean, sometimes we're, we're listening to stuff and, and, uh, we're like, well, you know, that's something I could eventually do or whatever, yeah. or build up to like something that they can do today to feel beautiful or to do something that's going to make them, you know, feel like they're really matching the outside and their inside. You know what I'm saying? Kind of yeah. like what we were saying with your mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I what think, piece of um, advice would you give? 
You know what? I think I would say work on changing your perspective and choosing to love on yourself. If that means Mm -hmm. just letting yourself take a bath or do something for you to relax, do a face mask, not with the end goal of like, oh, I want to change the way I look, but with the end goal of just loving yourself. Because I think so much of it is perspective. Like um, there's some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh gosh, I wish I could just change this or like fix this or this wrinkle. And then there's other days where you go, oh no, I actually think like my skin's aging well for, you know, for where I'm at in life. And it's so much perspective. So I think just take, take a moment to love on yourself and find something beautiful about yourself and say it in the mirror. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's like so intimidating. Isn't that funny? I'm saying that it's intimidating to say that to a mirror. Yeah, isn't it? And why is that? Because it's so easy to like see beauty in other people and compliment mm. other people. But when it comes to yourself, you're like, mm, you just see the bad. And like, that is not the way the world sees you. I hope, I hope the world. I would hope not. You know? <laughs> I hope they see the good. Well, I mean, it, it is really funny because it is seems like, um, especially as we get older, it's like everything evolves, you know, and yeah. what you feel like is your comfort level, then suddenly it's changing on you. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to accustom to your new reality. But in all honesty, I mean, I think, I think just about everybody in this world has some beauty about them or that are beautiful, yeah. especially if they are keeping their heart true. And I, yeah. I love that you think the same way. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. 